Hello and welcome back to Seriax. Today we're going to be watching season one, episode three of The Leftovers. The Leftovers. And this one's called Two Boats and a Helicopter. So yeah, last episode, the chief's son, not the old chief, the current chief's son, has murdered somebody now to protect the I wanna say like wife or girlfriend of the cult leader, uh, Wayne. For some reason it's special. I've been thinking about this a lot, like what are the reasons? And I'm thinking I don't know, he talked about his son a lot, maybe she's pregnant, maybe she's the only one he's genuinely married to, which doesn't make sense because they said that he likes underage girls, so I'm like, oh, which makes me just like, Ugh, to the son a bit more, but I don't know. Unless they say her age, I feel like I'm going to be cautiously reactive, you know. <laughs> We've learnt a bit more about the woman who lost her whole family and how she does interviews with people who are to receive their compensation. Well, I shouldn't really say compensation. Set amount of money um, because they have lost a family member and they have to answer some questions and it seems as though they are, I don't know, it's, it feels as though they're there to pick up contradictions, maybe catch people out in a lie because fraudsters will, they'll take any opportunity no matter how disgusting. So you just know there's going to be people that have like pretended to have gone or family members making up people. I find it weird that she, I don't know, maybe she wants to be a part of it that way to try and figure out more. Maybe there's a little bit more to her. I don't know. I like her character so far. I have to say she is the most interesting one to me. I feel like because there's so many unanswered questions with her, I feel like that'd be a really interesting storyline. We also saw the Chiefs dad, the previous chief, who seems to be in a relationship with the mayor. I was like, okay. Came out of nowhere. <laughs> but he kept saying about, you know, they've sent someone to be there for you, they've sent you a friend, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, who's they? I mean, does he speak to the people that are gone somehow? Or does he just know things? Because I couldn't place his face, but he is in Daredevil and the Defenders. So I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I googled him afterwards. I was like, oh my god, it is him. <laughs> I am intrigued by, I want to say Holly, I think she's called in this, her storyline because she doesn't seem as invested in this cult as the other members are, but she did take the axe back out and start chopping the tree again. So, hmm. But anyway, enough chatting, let's get into it. If you've heard this one before, and I have to say, have first done. heroes, now really leftovers. Are you all tricking me into watching Christopher Eccleston's whole filmography? <laughs> this boy, he's a good kid. Not perfect, but good and creative. Hey, Mr. What's going on? Wait. It's coming in really aggressively. Please? Oh. oh! What are you doing? Oh, oh cause of his flyers. I got this one. Cause is that why he's all like, these people haven't been... Press charges, man. There you go. Sled. Because... Oh, Otherwise, he would have done because he's a person of Jesus, and um, these this girl again? sold drugs. Well, she hasn't been, so that's the proof. Rapture. Fucking hell. Who's the buyer? Corporate LLC, probably a, a hedge fund. It's not the really cult, is it? The... But the land is worth something. But this is our family church. Um, no, it's not. It's your church. Are they related? They didn't leave it to anyone. They died in a fire when I was seven. If you're asking me for something. Oh. I'm asking you for something. She's gonna make him stop. Stop making your paper, and I'll give you the money. I can't do that. Why not? People need to hear the People truth. need to punch you in the face. I didn't say it was easy to hear. It's not making things better. Maybe it's time she to let it go. still has a wedding ring. Kind of not letting it go yourself. Doug was having an affair. Oh. 
preschool teacher. They usually did it at her apartment. Oops! Pigeons on that flight. No, he's not gonna go and gamble it, is he? Sir, our high limit tables are in the back. If you allow me to score. No, I, I want to play on this table. With the Please. pigeons. <laughs> are the pigeons going to make him win? Winner! Win. <laughs> oh my god! 40,000. 80,000. Oh, my heart. This is why I don't gamble. It's too much pressure and I don't find it fun. <laughs> Once more, please. <laughs> Jesus, man. Hey, whoa, whoa. You, you know something that we don't know? But he'd, he'd win 160, wouldn't he? Oh. I don't like it. Is it red? Oh my god, he did it! Oh, I really hope someone doesn't rob him now. Oh, he's gonna get robbed, isn't he? I don't like this. Lock your car as soon as you get in. Lock it. Lock it. Oh. Go! 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 Hey. Fucking go! We're winning chicken dinner, right? <laughs> oh! Yeah. Go! Hey, congrats, man! I was just wondering, maybe you could help us out, you know? Unless you're short on cash. <laughs> and I'll just take that envelope. No! <sighs> <sighs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! There's been an attack. Uh, that was hit with a rock. He's he's bleeding. We're on uh zero and uh whoa, 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 whoa. whoa! Okay hell! No one in the car. Okay. Can you hear me? Help! Please, I need help! See, I want this for him, but I'm so, like, scared. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Is he closed? It's too late. We made a deal. That was three days ago. What? You came in on Monday. Has he been past? He's been in the hospital for a few days. Thursday. You should get yourself a little office building, a little just tiny thing. Start again. Oh, the fuckers! I won't be surprised if he just goes and burns it down. <laughs> yeah, that was season one, episode three of The Leftovers. I really loved that episode. That was so good. Uh, it had me so tense <laughs> through the gambling scene. And I'm so mad because if he's been in a coma for like three days, I really hope that his wife is okay. I mean, I can't imagine that a woman would have just left her to her own devices. You know what I mean? She in her employment as a carer she would have to report this to her supervisors and then the adult social services stuff like that and then hopefully they probably would have tracked down that he's in the hospital but that cult annoys me so much they are so rude for no reason like i get that you're grieving but what i don't get what their plan is like i don't get it what is their end goal i don't understand I also don't understand the smoking thing either. 
and why they wear white and why they don't speak. I don't know, I hope that's explained a lot more. <laughs> yeah, so full length and early access available on patreon.com or forward slash I'll see you next time.